Bringing the digital arts and digital humanities together into one program confronts, I think, what is historically a misperception about the arts and the humanities and that divide. I think it's traditionally been understood that the arts are about making but not about theorizing and similarly that the humanities have been about scholarship and theorizing but not about making. The digital arts and humanities have always been about doing both of those things and so bringing them together into a single program as we've done here, it's a logical friendship. Digital humanities is at the intersection of culture and technology. So that might mean that we apply computational methods to the study of history and art and culture, but it also might mean that we take lenses drawn from the study of culture and apply them to technology. In digital art, we have a look at combining the arts, design and science domains in order to create meaningful, evocative experiences. In design, we can use the methods that allow us to identify and discover solutions to human-centered challenges. The computer science aspect allows us to create different kinds of processes that augment and challenge the capabilities of the human being. The students graduating will have skills that translate really well to industry, whether it's the arts industry, culture or technology industry. They'll gain those skills both from the program itself in terms of the suite of digital skills they'll learn, as well as the ability to analyze the tools that they're using. Students in the AMP Lab and the Center for Culture and Technology, for example, will have the opportunity to work as research assistants, project managers, lab managers, where they'll gain a host of skills that translate really well to industry. Digital arts and humanities really means the opportunity to make things and to engage with communities all through the lens of technology. I think one of the advantages is really to be able to blur that line between a historical focus and a contemporary making focus. And this becomes an interdisciplinary opportunity where we're able to take digital humanities methods and concepts, apply those with what we're doing in the digital arts, uh, and together to form a relationship that will create strength and excellence in exploration, research and creation.